The Pixel 7 and Pixel 7 Pro are set to become the latest and greatest smartphone from the house of Google. And even though there are still a few months between now and the eventual release of the two phones, there's already plenty of information available. In fact, Google can be thanked for many of the details as the company has continually released Pixel 7 and 7 Pro teasers over the past few weeks and months. One of the major changes with the Pixel 6 and the Pixel 6 Pro was the introduction of Google's Tensor chip and this is also an area that Google has confirmed is changing. More specifically, refining the Pixel 7 and the 7 Pro will come loaded with a next-gen Google Tensor processor. What exactly that means in real terms is less clear, although it should be expected that the next Pixel phones will at a minimum be more powerful and more powerful efficient in general. Even though the first generation Tensor chip was seen as a powerful solution, it didn't fare quite as well against Apple's latest Bionic chip and Qualcomm's latest Snapdragon SoC. So it would be expected that the next-gen Tensor processor will look to further close that performance gap. Processor aside, it remains unclear just how much else will change in the specs department. A recent report by 9to5Google looks to confirm that the displays won't change much, resulting in similar sizes to the Pixel 6 series. For reference, the standard Pixel 6 comes with a 6.4 inch display, while the Pixel 6 Pro increases the screen real estate to 6.7 inches. Likewise, there isn't expected to be any changes in the resolution or refresh rate either. With the Pixel 7 resigned to the same 1080 into 2340 and 90Hz and the Pixel 7 Pro is sticking with 1440 into 3120 and 120Hz. According to a recent tweet by Ross Young, the standard Pixel 7 may see a slight decrease in size of 6.4 inches to 6.3 inches. Unsurprisingly, both the Pixel 7 and 7 Pro will come running on the latest version of the operating system Android 13 and benefit from all the latest software features. Google tends to release its newest Pixel phones each year to coincide with the general release of the latest consumer-ready version of Android and they are typically the first ones to feature the new OS. The Pixel 7 and 7 Pro won't be any different. Of course, Pixel phones also tend to come with a slightly customized Pixel version of Android, so there will likely be some minor Pixel 7 specific tweaks as well. Compared to some of the other areas, the battery is one which has seen less speculation and tradition in terms of leaks and official teasers. As a result, it remains unclear whether consumers should or shouldn't expect much changes here. The Pixel 6 is loaded with a 4614mAh capacity battery while the Pixel 6 Pro battery is rated at 5003. Neither are the small, so it seems unlikely that there will be much room to drastically increase the actual capacity. Especially given the overall sizes are expected to remain relatively the same, that's not to say there won't be slight adjustments, it is just the newer models are unlikely to come with significant changes to the overall capacity. Still, the capacity is only one element of the battery chain and the inclusion of a new and presumably more powerful and efficient tensor chip is likely to result in some general battery performance gains. How much and how those gains will translate to real-world daily use in something that's only really going to be known once the devices are out in the wild and in the hands of the consumers. Any deficits in the actual capacity and efficiency could also be further offset by improvements to fast charging, the current Pixel phones are not the fastest when it comes to charging so it wouldn't be totally surprising to see improvements in this area with the Pixel 7 series. At the same time, it wouldn't be totally surprising to see no changes in this area.
the Pixel 7 and 7 Pro are shaping up to be great phones and arguably the best options for anyone looking to pick up an Android phone in late 2022 or early 2023. It's not expected that this will be a macro upgrade cycle but more of a refinement to what the Pixel 6 series currently offers. The Pixel 6 series was initially plugged with various bugs and issues and while it is hoped that Google will offer a smoother experience this time around, that might not be the case, yes some of the various Pixel 6 events will likely be ironed out with the Pixel 7 series but this is Google and a new operating system version with various tweaks. All of which likely means there probably will be some teething problem at first considering the initial grievances experienced with the Pixel 6 under display fingerprint sensor. It wouldn't be totally surprising to see the Pixel 7 phones actually arrives with a new and better fingerprint solution. The major question all this raises is whether those with a Pixel 6 or Pixel 6 Pro should upgrade to the newer models when they are released? Answering that is a lot harder to do prior to the official launch, but it doesn't look like there will be any ultra compelling reason to make the year over year upgrade. For those with an older Pixel phone, however, upgrading to Google Pixel 7 or 7 Pro is likely to be OTT. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Peace.